Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Teresa and I'm the car boot crafter and I'm coming on today with um, a project. So um, I'm going to a wedding in about a month's time, just under a month's time. And um, they've said if you want to gift anything, then either money or gift cards. So I'm going to buy a couple of gift cards from their favourite shops. Um, but they did they did say no presents because they've been together a long time and they have, um, I guess, enough toasters and towels and bed linen to to do them. So I thought it'd be nice to do the gift cards, but um, to do it. You know, you know the shop bought gift cards and the, the, the card holder that they give you a bit naff so I thought I'd do um, something a little bit different so I'm using the uh, the paper tree a touch of elegance paper papers and um, yeah I've this is about the third start I've had with this and I've got all sorts of problems if this doesn't work <laughs> then I'm going to give up on it and just do the project without the video on so you'll need two pieces of A4 um, papers, um, like I said, from the Touch of Elegance. And the one, you're going to cut it so that you've got um, two strips of one and a half inches. So let's move that one out of the way. So two strips of one and a half inches. Then you're going to put it uh, in your scoreboard and score at three quarter inch or just fold it in half at three quarter inch on both of them and then you're going to glue them together so you get these um these strips and these are going to be what we're going to make our handles for now i would normally you know use something like an oval die or a circular die lots of people use them to make the handles but i haven't got them so um i'm using these strips instead um i then pop them to one side and let them dry but as like I said we've had a couple of full starts so I've already started on them once they are dry you're going to pop them in your scoreboard or you can use your ruler if you want uh, I don't know what that is on there and um, get your ruler and if you want and just make a mark or as I've done I've drawn a line at three inches and I'm going to do that on all four sides so three inches making sure that you make your mark on the same side so there's a mark there and that side it won't work if you mark on that side and then flip it over and mark on the other it won't work um, and then again on this one mark at three inches turn it round and mark at three inches um, I draw a line because it's just easier for me to follow or like I say you can use your ruler um, and once you've done that let me get this out of the way once you've done that what you're going to do and as you can see I've already drawn a black felt tip mark there so that hopefully you can see so that's my three inch mark there what you're going to do then is put your a net, your nail or your bone fold or something just to hold it there and you're going to take the long side and fold it so that this edge lines up with your mark, your pencil mark or in this case my black felt mark and you're going to create yourself a 90 degree angle like that. Then you're going to open it up and do the same on this side. So there's my um, pencil mark and you're going to bring it down, line it up with that pencil mark and crease it like that. So you end up with that. OK, I'll show you again on the other one. So we've got our um, paper and we've got our two three inch marks here. So the first one. I'm going to use my nail, pop it there to hold it, bring the long piece across and line it up with my pencil mark and crease it. Then opening it up and if you keep it on the same angle, don't move it, 
move across to this side put your fingernail at the top of your other three inch mark and again bring the long side down line it up and reinforce that with your bone folder then when you've opened it up you can bring them both in and you end up with that shape on your two handles okay so i'm just going to pop them to one side and um, the piece the strip that you've got um left over from that a4 piece simply fold it in half and this is the card base for putting the um for putting the, the gift cards in so we're going to have a card which goes into our little bag okay i'm going to pop that there and i'm going to bring in my school board again i have got before i move on actually i have got some ink that is the same color as or very similar to my papers so there was a little bit of white um, showing from the other side so i just did that just to hide it a little bit um, on there so let's pop those back now bringing in your school scoreboard i've already done this but i will go through it with you so bring in your a4 piece of card and along the short edge, so that's the short edge, I'm going to score at three quarters of an inch all the way down like that. Once I've done that, these are my measurements. Um, three quarters of an inch or if you're using metrics, two centimetres. So all the way down. Then turn it all the way around so you've got the other long edge along here and again score at three quarters of an inch like that once you've done that you're going to work with the short side here and you're going to score at five and a half inches then you're going to turn it all the way around again and score again at five and a half inches this makes sure that these are both five and a half inches and that both of these sides are at three quarters of an inch so let's move that out the way move our scoreboard out the way you're then going to make these so we our scores would have gone all the way to the edge and we're just going to cut those tags out so you would use your scissors let's move that out the way use your scissors so you're going to cut down the side of that score mark you're going to stop at the intersection there and then you're going to come across from here and just tab it in and get rid of that um, crease mark the same on that side then turn it round and work on this side again snip down to where the score lines intersect then come in from the little tabs in and remove the whole of that score line on this side of that intersection okay hope that's clear would have preferred to have done it with you but I am running out of paper and I don't have any more of this and I do want it for the wedding card uh, well not the wedding card the wedding gift card okay so I'm going to bring in my handles again okay and now I've got to decide which way round. Do I want that to be on the outside or do I want that to be on the outside? It's just a matter of choice as to where the, um, the crease is. So it's that way round or that way round. And this is important to get a uniform look on your, um, on your bag. Before we start putting the little bag together, we're going to attach our um, handles. So I'm going to get a piece of glue and I'm going to put it in here. Um, I don't do it till now because I may need to have a little bit of a wiggle. And I do use um, wet glue for this. So I'll do it with that one. 
and I'll do it with this one. I'm not reinforcing the glue into the card just yet. Like I say, I may need some wiggle room when I come to um, attach it to the um, to the bag. Okay, so I want that side to be the outside, so I need to flip it over because I'm going to attach it here. I'm going to use the grids on my um, hold that up. I'm going, yeah, no, that's no good. I'm going to use the grid lines on my um, self healing mat, and I'm lining up the top of my bag there like that. And then I'm going to put some glue. Let me check I'm doing the right way. Yep, yeah. put some glue on here and on here like that and then I'm going to lay it down and I'm going to see how high I want my I think a pair actually and I'm going to use the grid lines to give me um, a couple of points of references everything I'm doing is by eye so there we go that Keep that there. That one, this side needs to come ever so slightly. Like I say, wet glue gives you a little bit of wiggle room. There we go. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is take this one. I'm going to do exactly the same. I've got the glue already in there. This is the side I want out so that it matches this side. So I'm going to turn it over and I'm lining it up with the one that I've just glued on there. I want to make sure it's as straight as possible and line, lines up as much as I can with the one underneath. Then I'm going to put some glue down on these tabs there on the bottom of the handle like that. And once I've done that, I'm then going to bring over this piece and I'm going to line it up with the one underneath. So I'm just going to stand up so that I can make sure I'm lining it up properly. There we go. So those handles now are nicely lined up. So I'm grabbing my bone folder and now I'm going to reinforce and push that glue into the card doing it on all of those points like that this is standing up here just so that when i hold it like that let me just hold it like that so that's up there so just be aware it won't fold flat at the bottom there there we go just reinforce all of that so it's nice and straight I prefer to stand up to do it just because it, um, it gives me a bird's eye view of my project and what I'm doing. I'm going to open that out, folding these back in, I'm going to fold these in. Actually, what I should do first is have a look at which handle I prefer. So there's that one, or there's that one. I think I prefer that one so that's going to be the front of my box so I'll leave those two because this is the front I'm going to leave those two out and bring all the rest in like that again I'm going to use my glue but you can use double-sided tape here if you want I'm just going to put glue down those two long edges like that i'm going to put a little bit of glue on my two tabs and i'm going to bring up this side of the box and glue my tabs let me show you i'm going to bring that in bring up this box line it up and glue that i do it this way you might be able to see Glue that tab 
onto the inside of there then bring this side up and glue that side together like that and then I'm going to do the same on this side so my tabs up bring that up and just using my fingers to push those two sides together like that and again because I'm using wet glue I've got a little bit of wiggle room to make sure that my top and my sides are all lined up so there's my bag complete okay to finish off the bag I'm going to bring in some papers so I've got these papers so I thought these were quite nice um, and a bit um, you know a bit wedding-y so these are five and a quarter by six and a quarter or 13 centimeters by 16 centimeters and it's just a case of gluing these down making sure that I'm putting them on the right way around um, yeah I would have preferred I think to have used a, a plainer background but unfortunately I didn't have anything else that was the right colors to go with this paper um, left in the pack so I'm just going to flip that over and make sure I've got it the right way around I'm going to line it up and pop it on like that don't mind the dots too much um, and it is fairly there's a little bit of um, interest to the bag so I'm just going to flip that over and use my bone folder inside to reinforce the or push the glue into the paper like that pop this over and again on this side exactly the same size as the page or the piece of paper i've just put down five and a quarter by six and a quarter or 13 centimeters by 16 centimeters I want to put plenty on because I want this to last. I don't want it to dry out before the wetting. Um, that's, that would be disastrous, wouldn't it? Could you imagine um, giving them the gift um, cards and everything and then the whole thing falling apart. Line that up. Bring that over a little bit. Push that down. And then I'm going to flip it over. And again, using my bone fold, I'm going to get that in. In fact, I'm going to use my ruler. I'm going to get my ruler in there. And because I can get all the way down without bothering the handles too much. There we go. I'm going to flip it over and do the other side as well. There we go. And just want to reinforce that there as well with my bone folder okay so that's my bag almost finished i've now got two pieces these are half an inch by five and a quarter and these are going to go on the edges there so again just some glue down the edges like that check that I've got my paper the right way round and I'm just going to lay that down on that edge there like that nice and simple to use my bone folder now to push that in and I'll flip it over and do exactly the same on the other side so half an inch by five and a quarter or 1.5 centimeters by 13 centimeters on these little strips and let's pop that make sure it's the right way around which it's not there we go and pop that on there <clears throat> like that while that's sitting I'm just going to get my bone folder and push that in 
I like that. I am going to decorate the front of the, no, that's the back, the front of the card a little bit more. But while that's drying, I'm going to move on to my card. Do you remember that piece of card that we folded in half? Now, I've already got some um, papers. It's from the same collection as the, uh, the, the rest. All I've done is cut two pieces. There are five and a half by five inches or 12.5 by 14 centimeters. And I'm going to glue that on the front of the card like that. I've put some embossing on there just to say congratulations. Uh, this is not the card. This is not the wedding card that I'm making. Um, I've still got a few ideas that I'm floating about that. Um, this is just, like I say, a gift card holder. So some glue in the middle there like that. And then making sure I've got the right side up, I'm going to glue that down like that. So that's the front of the card, the gift card. I'm going to open it up. And my other piece of card, which again is five and a half by five or um, 12.5 centimetres by 14 centimetres. I'm going to put on the inside um, really like this paper really pretty um, and um, because they're having pink and this kind of what would you call it it's like a plum but it's a bit of a dusty plum color um, that's those are the two colors that they're having thought it would be fun and this collection matches really well so there we go that's the inside there and i've got this piece which i'm going to attach on this side before i do i'm thinking i'm just going to put a little notch in it so let me find my circle punch where's that gone now i've got it here somewhere i should have got it out before i started didn't I? so Mm, that's not the one I wanted. Mm, okay, this one will do. It's a... Mm, no, it is a bit too small. Where's that gone? Gosh. Okay. Normally, I check it straight back in my drawer. Okay, well, I'm going to... I'm going to go without, I think. So, I'm just going to attach that on there as a pocket so all i need to do is glue two sides and across the one the bottom so that that side the papers i'm using are five and a half by two and a half or 14 by six and a half centimeters I did have it a little bit deeper at first but um it was too deep for um the gift cards so I'm just running a bead of glue just above the bottom of that card there. Right, and then that's just going to sit on there like that. Again, I'm going to get my bone folder and very carefully go around the edge like that. So, and then I've got a couple of standby gift cards. Uh, because I haven't been and bought them. So those will sit in there like that um, with my card. <clears throat> Let me take those out and pop them to one side. So that's my card, which then goes in my little gift bag like that. And I think that's much nicer. That's the front. That's the front. That was the back. No, I was right first time, wasn't I? That's the front. <laughs> And I think that's a much nicer little bag than um, than just putting it in one of those uh, cards. I've got a piece of card here, which, and this is going to be different with everybody, so I won't give you measurements for this. 
and I'm going to pop that on there um, after I've stamped something on there congratulations or something or to and from so that I can write who it's to and who it's from on there but I'm not going to glue that down just yet because like I say I need to um, find my stamp site and see what I want to put on it what greeting if any or whether I just want to go with the to and from and I also let me see there it is before I quite finished I've also got a congratulations which I have um, embossed in silver and mounted it's the same pink as this paper and that is going to go on the front there like that in fact I'll do it now just put some glue down and pop that on there like that that's straight I hope um, yeah as a just a little I might get some little flowers and maybe put some here um, not quite sure yet but I wanted to get this done just so as I know that's one thing out of the way um, while I stress about making the wedding card itself um, I may use these papers for the wedding card I'm not entirely sure yet um, but we'll see it's not a white wedding as such there's no big white frock or any of that um, like I say they've been together a long long time and it is although it's going to be a very nice do um, it's not your traditional traditional white wedding so uh, I'm gonna have to have a think about how I create the card anyway I hope you enjoyed that I'm glad I finally managed to get through it um, I have this is about the fourth attempt at videoing this that I've had um, everything kept going wrong um, and I didn't want to not video because I thought it was a really good idea an alternative for um, a gift card for something special like an 18th or a wedding um, or something like that and then you can just pop your gift cards in like that and then pop it in that little bag might even put a little ribbon on the one side um, if I can find something that will match okay well I hope you like that idea um, it's been a bit of a struggle but we got there we got there um, and uh, yeah and I will see you all in the next video um, bye for now <laughs> bye